Zaha Watts has a terrible attitude. When I do archaeology, you listen to me. Shut up. I don't want to tell you what to do or I will leave. So come May 1st, Zaha Watts will be traveling to 23 cities in the U.S. to promote his Not From Africans tour, deliberately mimicking the Eurocentric Queen's Mary Leverwich 1990s book tour, Not From Africa only to be stopped in her tracks by John Henry Clark and Leonard Jeffries and was silenced for three decades. Just the simple fact that they banned Kevin Hart's coward performance only to be able to freely tour the US undisturbed is the ultimate disrespect. But not just that, Zaha Watts is extremely pseudo and changes his geography of the origin of ancient Egypt simply to disassociate it with black people. He believes Egypt started in the Middle East or Lower Egypt, and anyone who challenges his stance will probably get this. To me, shut up! I don't want to tell you what to do, or I will leave! So, this would explain why just about all of his recent discoveries have been made in Lower Egypt, but Lower Egypt is only 2.4% of the land. If he didn't have an agenda, then why not excavate the land closer to where the greatest dynasties come from? because he's afraid of what he's going to find and when he finds it he'll probably do this uh, uh, I don't want to tell you what to do or I will leave most Eurocentric historians prefer to begin their study of ancient Egypt after the 18th dynasty and later periods instead of the first dynasty this is because during the later dynasties Egypt began to slowly develop a fairer skin tone due to foreigners intermixing with indigenous Africans there has been a lot of behind the scenes actions to cover up the black origins of ancient Egypt, whether it's creating fake statues or embellishing time periods of antiquities. Like this statue that they claim came from the Old Kingdom. The Arab centuries favor this statue simply because it looks European, yet it has no historical writings, no historical temples, or this so-called city scribe. But the dead giveaway here is the eyeliner. We know that in the Old Kingdom, they did not use eyeliner. There are no tomb paintings or wild release that remotely resembles this so-called artifact, but we can find wild release of scribes at work depicted as black. Obviously, they love what you did, they just hate it was you. Not only is this statue of a city scribe unidentified, it's never been dated. Pay close attention to Arab centrics as they favor Greek artifacts, pretending like they are original ancient Egyptians. It's because deep down they know that they are invaders. The modern Egyptians may suffer from a rare form of cognitive dissonance and memory loss, but here in America we don't forget nothing, like Zahawas fake chamber scandal in which he was sentenced to one year in jail. Zahawas is just out here to get a bag, but are we really supposed to take someone serious who has already been accused of embellishing antiquities? I'll let Zahawas answer that. You listen to me! Shut up! I don't want to tell you what to do or I will leave!